What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Marvel Legends Marvel Knights series from the Daredevil Netflix TV show Elektra. Here we do have Elektra in the packaging. You can see she does come with an alternate head, two sides, and of course her man thing build a figure piece. On the side we have a beautiful artwork of Elektra which like I said it's really beautiful. On the back we do have a little bio as well as an image of the figure. Both a wealthy heiress and a trained assassin, Electra Natios is a mysterious woman from Matt Murdock's past who returns unexpect who unexpectedly returns to his life. Other figures of this wave do include Daredevil, Punisher, Electra, Jessica Jones, Blade, and Bullseye, and when all is said and done, we do have Man-Thing right here. With that out of the way, guys, let's actually take a little break, get her opened up, and we'll go on to the rest of her review. So sit tight, everyone. So here we have Electra posing out of the packaging. Before we get on to the figure, let's actually show off her Build-A-Figure piece. She does come with the left leg of Man-Thing again. Not really looking forward to Man-Thing, but maybe that'll change when we get the figure assembled. But here we do have Electra in hand and I have to say there's some things I like and some things I really don't like about it. Now let's actually go on to the things I don't like about it because it's not that major. Well it kind of is and I don't know why but it seems like her forearms are unnaturally large. In comparison to her upper arm her forearms are gigantic and she has a case of Popeye syndrome going on where the forearms are much bigger than the upper arms, which it doesn't look too bad from the side, but then when you start turning her, you kind of start to see that her forearms are a little too defined. And I'm not sure if I'm the only one that notices that, but it is something to notice that her forearms are just a tiny bit too big. Now, onto the figure where she, where I had to say, we have seen most of this mold before this. We did see Mary Jane who had the same... I want to say everything from the diaphragm joint all the way down to the ankle hinge because her feet are different than Mary Jane's. But overall, really love this figure. And let's actually show off her accessories. For a starter, she does come with two separate heads. We do have her masked head, which let's actually take a look at that. We do have her masked head where she has her uh, scarf, mask, whatever it is, pulled over her head, all over her face so she doesn't get recognized. And then we also do have her unmasked face, which looks really nice. Uh, I think they used the photo tech on this one. Not so sure about this one, but they both kind of look like they use the photo tech. I don't know which one I like more. I'll probably have mine displayed with the mask. I kind of wish that they actually gave us an unmasked neck accessory so that if you have her with this, we can have this mask like around her neck like she just pulled it down. But still really nice. And then her other accessories are her two sides, which fit in both her hands. On her left hand, it does just slide in like you normally would expect. So... Nothing too special here, but you can see her right hand kind of has like her fingers displayed differently. And just messing around with the figure, you can actually get the size in a lot of different poses. And it's really hard to say which one I is my go-to look. I mean, you can have her holding it like that. You can have her holding it the way size are intended to be held. So just so many different ways you can have her holding it. You can even have her holding it like this. But then her two fingers look out of place so you can slide that in. Something like that. But really love that we do get that hand which can offer so many different poses. Her red shirt is sculpted and painted so we do have her black shirt which is a nice sculpt. And then the red is painted there but really nice sculpt work to go with it. And like I said, we did see this torso with Mary Jane Watson as well as the legs. But really loving the fact that they reused it for a figure that uses it rather than just giving it to us just because. 
And then we go on to her black shoes, which... She wears really dark gray pants and then black shoes. Kind of wish they did this with Punisher, but still looks really nice. Electra here is looking really beautifully. Or beautiful, I should say. And just for a quick comparison, let's actually bring Daredevil in here so you can see what the two figures look like. We can just have Electra there and then bring out Daredevil. And they actually do look really nice together, and I really do look like that. Kind of wish we got the end of Season 2 Electro, but that's just wishful thinking on my part. Moving on to her articulation, she does have a ball joint in the head, so you can actually pull that off and switch it out for this head. And in case you haven't noticed, I really haven't done this yet. Ah, so that was actually the first time I swapped the heads, and that's why that head, this head took a little more time getting on but as far as her articulation goes she does have a ball joint in the head she can lean her head side to side she can look up on that ball joint look down and then swivel and then we get the added benefit of the hinge which brings her neck all the way down brings her looking all the way up so good articulation there arms on a ball joint go out to about that far do a full 360 she bends at the elbow, not quite 90 degrees, and she also swivels. I was going to say maybe the elbow's upside down, but no, that gives you even less range. And makes the arm even more noticeably out of place. And then she also does have a hinge in the wrist, which, due to her glove sculpt, you don't get much play out of that. And we get a swivel there. She has a ball joint in her torso, so we can lean her side to side, forward, back. Really well, actually. Let's actually show that off on in frame. Sorry about that. But she can lean back, forward, side to side. Really good range of movement there. And she also does swivel there. No swivel right here. Kind of glad that we didn't get the swivel here because that would have broken up the sculpt. But legs do go forward about there. Go back that far due to her sculpt back here. Legs go out all the, almost the full split, so I really do love that. She swivels at the thigh, double jointed in the knee, although it's really stiff on mine. There we go. But she does have two joints in the knees, and then she has an ankle hinge and forward-facing pin for rocker. So overall, all the articulation you'd expect from Marvel Legends. So what I'm going to do now is take a little break, get her pose for my final thoughts. That will wrap up this review, so sit tight, everyone. So here we have Electra pose for my final thoughts. Overall, really, really excited I have her. Not my favorite figure out of the wave because there's really not too much unique sculpt to her other than the torso, her forearms, and her head. And maybe the hands. I'll have to take a look at that. But... Overall, still a really good figure. Kind of wish that we got the end of Season 2 Electro where she had her suit designed by Melvin. That would have been perfect, but for an Electro figure, this actually does a really good job for what it should be, and that's Electro. Overall, like I said, still loving this wave so far. There hasn't been a figure I've been eh about. Maybe Man-Thing, but like I said, we'll see how that changes once he's fully assembled. But I got my Marvel Knights way from Big Bad Toy Store. Rather than actually hunting for these guys, I actually did go out and just buy the case from Big Bad Toy Store. I have heard rumors that this is a short pack wave, so they're really not going to be getting too many of these. And if that's true, I'm really glad I saved myself the hassle of tracking these guys down. But anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, tell me what you think of Elektra. While you're at it, go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews. All my Marvel Legend reviews are also up, so go ahead and check those out. And while you're at it, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, go ahead and let me know down in the comments, and I'll do my best to review it for you guys. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Take care, everyone. <laughs>